Welcome to our live training session here with our Mitsubishi Evolution 9. We're going to be learning how to tune this vehicle using open source ECU flash software. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. We're going to find it has a bone stock 4G63 engine. It has been upgraded with springs, retainers, and Kelfort 272 camshafts, but otherwise it is going to be internally stock. Now, in addition to this, we have a three inch turbo back exhaust, a large front mount intercooler, upper and lower charge pipes have been upgraded, but it is still retaining the factory exhaust manifold and the factory turbocharger. Now, in addition to this, we have IED 1050X injectors. We have an upgraded fuel pump. It's been converted over to speed density. So we're gonna be running an intake air temp sensor, a Omni four bar map sensor, and we're gonna be mapping this on 93 octane. Now, we're gonna have a lot of things to cover here for the live training, so let's jump into our video so we can check out how to start our calibration process and get our engine fired off. Welcome to our live training session here with our Evo 9. Now, we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our ECU flash software so we can begin creating our base calibration file to upload to the ECU and start our tuning process. So moving in here to our ECU flash software, we can see the top here, open ROM documents. We don't have any ROMs loaded in here to start to do our calibration and tuning process with. We want to go in and work with a Tefra V7 ROM. That's the preferred ROM uh, between EVO 8s and EVO 9s. We need to go choose a ROM type specific for an EVO 9, and then we want to make sure that it's going to be speed density specific. So there's going to be mass airflow and speed density. Now, we're going to be just doing speed density tuning on this. The mass airflow has been deleted. We have a replacement map sensor and a replacement intake air temp sensor in its place so we can run true speed density operation. So let's go in here. We're going to go to our open file. And if we go here to our desktop, we go here into Tefra ROMs. And then we're going to move in here. This is of the uh, uh, packet of information you can download right into our course. I supply all the ROMs. Everything here is patched. We have all the XML definition codes, everything you need. So you'll make sure you download this if you're just getting started and looking at this particular tutorial here. You want to go back in um, and definitely grab all that information. So USDM EVO 9 is what we're working with here. And within our folder, we have our sample files. So we're going to find here we have a math based Tefra V7 file. We're also going to find here we have a 3D VE based. Now if we look at our numbers here, 88590715, the zero here signifies that it's mass airflow based. Now we've deleted the map off this car, it's no longer present, so we need to go and stick with a speed density ROM. So when we see here 3D VE, that means that we're going to be the speed density operation on speed density type ROM. Now if we look at the part number here of the ROM, 88592, 715. The two is going to be designating that we are in this uh, 3D VE based ROM. Now, there is going to be an 88591715. That's a 2D speed density ROM. I don't work with those. I don't find that there's any real advantage to those. So I'm going to be selecting my option right here. So 88592715, Tefra V7 3D VE. Let's click open and open this up. So we're going to start to go in here and start to uh, alter and change this file. Now the first thing we want to do here is just immediately save this file as a different name. We don't want to save over top of this original file. Um, that's going to cause us to have to go back in, download the course packet again. They'll have that untouched original file um, if you ever had that happen. But we want to make sure that we're not saving over top of that if we want to again use this stock file on another Evo 9 and not have to alter it and undo all the things we've changed maybe specific to the setup that you're working with. You want to keep yourself organized. So I'm going to go here to file save ROM as, and I'm going to move in here to my, let's go here to documents, go in here to ECU flash, and then I'm going to go here and do new folder, and I'll call this EPA, EVO 9, and let's go here and double click, we're going to be saving this as a new file name. So this is the existing file name right here, I'm just going to call this EVO 9 base, just so we know this is going to be our base file that we're making all of our update and changes into. So let's move in here and start to take a look at our current ROM metadata. We have all this information here that we need to go and alter and set up specific to this particular vehicle we're working with. This has larger injectors installs, uh, installed. It has um, the four bar map sensor. It has the GM intake air temp sensor. Um, it has basic bolt on nods. So uh, the, the intercooler, uh, full turbo back exhaust as a three port boost solenoid. We want to make sure we have everything set up and working. So when we fire it up in the next video, it's going to actually start up and run, and we're going to start our process and not have any kind of hidden surprises um, that could potentially cause us issues. So let's move in here to speed density tuning, and let's look at our 3D VE table. 
This table here represents our fuel tuning that we're going to be doing here and calibrating within our speed density operation. Now, the thing about this table here, it's really important to keep in mind, this is going to be a simulation or an estimation of airflow coming into the engine. The simulation part of it is going to be simulating what the stock mass airflow sensor would have been giving out in frequency. That's really important because we've deleted- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.